चिल्ड्रन यू वॉन्ट मी टू सिट डाउन यू वॉन्ट टू सॉन्ट रिकॉर्ड आप बोलेंगे जवाब नहीं दो पाके बैठो खामोश तुम थैंक यू मैडम मैडम डायरेक्ट कनेक्शन कैन बी ड्रॉन बिटवीन द पॉलिसीज ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट एंड द कंटिन्यूइंग एजुकेशनल बैकवर्ड ऑफ मुस्लिम्स इन बोथ हायर एजुकेशन एंड स्कूलिंग मुस्लिम वॉन्ट टू गेट फॉर्म एजुकेशन बट बिकॉज ऑफ गवर्नमेंट एफेथी एंड नेग्लिजेंस मुस्लिम ड्रॉप आउट ऑफ द एजुकेशन सिस्टम इज सूनर देन चिल्ड्रन ऑफ इंदर कनी अदर कम्युनिटी The government UDIC data, Madam, covers school education. Says that Muslim student representation gradually declines from class six onwards, <coughs> and reaching its lowest in class eleven and twelve. Enrollment percentage of Muslims dropped from fourteen point four two percent upper primary class six eight to ten point seven six percent higher education class eleven and twelve. Only seventy six point three seven percent of Muslim students continue after elementary education as compared to the national average of eighty one point two six. Madam, 28 point 28 states have gross GR of 80 percent for primary education, and but only 12 achieve states achieve 80 percent secondary level. This shows a clear systemic bias against Muslims. Muslim children do not have means to cross beyond primary education, but the government has limited pre-matric and post-matric scholarship class and above. I want to know from the Modi government that does the Muslims of this country have a fundamental right to education under Article 21A or not? Or do you want to make the Muslims 17 crore Muslim second class citizens status permanent, Madam? There are 1.7 lakh fewer Muslim pursuing higher education. That was not the case till 2021. You unleashed your ideology on the biggest minority, and that you see that 1.7 lakh fewer Muslims are pursuing higher education today. And I want to give them some bad news. the and good news for the nation those who say that we muslims don't teach our girls and oppress our women are wrong i'm quoting data i can challenge anyone muslim girls are enrolled at school level higher than boys the gender parity index for the rest of the population is 0.93 but for muslims it is 0.99 the sad fact is that these girls and boys are not prevented from educating themselves because of some evil muslim men in inverted commas but because of crushing poverty in absence of government support the honorable go uh, this government education policy talks about universal access to education ensuring universal literacy in india of 2047 but how can you achieve sir if 14% of population is dropping out of education at primary level how can you achieve when about 25% rural youths in the age group of 14 to 18 cannot read a class two level text fluently in regional language and while more than half struggle with division three digit by one digit problems a skill usually is expected to achieve in class 3 and 4 madam over the years there has been shift in momentum towards private schools government data indicates a decrease in the share of government schools in the elementary category of 87% in 2006 to 62% in 2022 maybe the moguls are responsible for this this means that the government has decided to leave the poorest indians to for profit schools and abandon the responsibility on the rt madam in For Kendra Vidyalaya, the government has allocated 9,300 crores. Navodaya Vidyalaya, 15,800 crores. How is it that you have vacancy of 6,653 in teaching and non-teaching staff? Would you blame Babar for this? I'm sure you'll do that. In Navodaya Vidyalaya, 15,800 crores have been allocated. 4,675 uh, vacancies are there. Sanctioned strength is 34,354. In Navodaya Vidyalaya and Kendra Vidyalaya, it is 56,703. you have passed a law 5 months ago about cheating malpractices but you are so great in implementing it took you 5 months maybe you are waiting for the need paper to leak that is what i can say and i'll show the classic example of favoritism madam over here jamia milia islamia is allocated 3 lakh per student aligarh 3.9 lakh per student and bhu gets 6.15 lakh per student why this favoritism and may i request the honorable minister to you madam that pm usp 15000 sorry 1558 crores have been allocated please have some liberal mindedness have you know so that more muslim students can get this your hifa scheme madam hifa scheme 39720 crores have been sanctioned for 103 institutions 22 are iits 12 are aims these people can pay back money how can jamia milia and amu pay back money i don't know who has told you this and more important madam 29% of graduates and above in india are unemployed and half of them do go do low skill jobs this is for you to understand and may i come to jamia milia madam 
Jamia Milia, you have no permanent vice chancellor. Why? Why is it that a, a registrar is not even qualified to hold that post? Why is it that a, an a standing council is running the Jamia Milia? And in, please inquire that why 438 crores have been given HIFA, whether competent construction companies have been given or someone has given on the basis of favoritism. How is it, sir, that the present status of 100 years old Jamia Teach Association, their office has been sealed, their body has been dissolved, there is no funds to run the university, to pay outsourcing staff, to build for building maintenance, no research grant. I demand that registrar and, leading and the standing council to be re immediately removed. Now, coming to Aligarh Muslim University, there are 1,400 daily... I'm going to finish it in two minutes. AMU daily wage workers are 1,400, temporary 1,559. Why don't you regularize them? And why are you not giving separate funds, Honorable Minister Garu, to the AMU branch at Murshidabad in Mallapuram and in, uh, in Kishanganj? Do you want it to be closed? Madam, in, as of July 2023, the share of STOBC in senior professors is even lower. I'll just give you, I'm giving you figures, madam. In central universities, there's 66.29 general teaching staff. SC, STOBC only 30%. NIT, 67%. 33% STOBC. In IIT, 84.5 general category. SC, STOBC, 14%. IIM, 86.83. And, and in general, 11%. Who's responsible, sir? You are running the government 10 years. You are running the 10 years. And lastly, madam. In lastly, madam. Manini, sir, this complete Lastly, curry. NCRT this has been given curry. 500 crores. May I, I dare to say that this government has been distracted with fudging textbooks, teaching propaganda of children. You want me to sit down? You want to sit on record? You want me to sit on record? NCRT is removed the re reference to Babri Masjid, 2002 rights. Why should people not learn from the mistakes of past? Should our children not learn of Gujarat program, massacre of minority Muslims? Those who ignore history mistakes are bound to repeat them. It has made up history argued Indians don't have migrant DNA. Ma 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 Madam, ek minute, karo. The truth is DNA shows that there are four ways of migration in India. Africa, Iran, Southeast Asia, and Estel Pastor of the Aryans. There is scientific consensus on this. May I request the Honourable Minister to you, why do you want to hide the killers of Mahatma Gandhi? Do you want to make Godse a freedom fighter? Let the children know who's a Deshbak and why are you trying to protect your organization, ideology, ideology organization? Madam, in end, I would appeal to the government to fix your priorities. You need to construct more government schools, improve quality of schooling. You need to make active efforts to reduce dropout rate of Muslims. You have your job cut out for you. Do not waste your time. Do not use school textbooks as battleground for petty allegations. I mean, the future of our children depends on quality of education. May I request the Honourable Minister concentrate on 14% Muslims. You have the highest dropout rate. This nation, we want it to become mixed with Bharat. But if you keep on unleashing the ideology of hatred, Manini we cannot become mixed with Bharat. Thank you, Madam.